Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 321. Only you're watching this on Friday. Why? Because today is Thanksgiving and by the time you'll be watching this, it will be Black Friday here in the store and online. Actually, we do Black Friday, Black Saturday and I'll explain why. But I wanted you to see how to use some of the goodies that we're going to have for you during our Black Friday event. We've got Marabou. Um, that's what I'm going to be featuring today is Marabou, but there's also Hero Arts and Stampendous and Dreamweavers and just a host of other wonderful products at doorbuster deal prices. Now today it's all about Marabou and I can't wait to show you, but before I get started, I want to talk to you just a little bit about Black Friday. Now the store is quiet here. I'm upstairs in Mr. SMS's office and the the warehouse storeroom up here, there's nobody here but me and there's nobody downstairs. Everybody is spending their their day off with their family and friends and I will get there. I have family to go and have Thanksgiving with as well. So as soon as I'm done here, I'll be heading all over and and the, the good thing is because I'm here doing this today, I didn't have to do any cooking. Woo! <laughs> Talk about wahoo ka -choo. <laughs> So while I'm taping this, they're all busy back at the house fixings, doing all the fixings, and that <laughs> I just get to show up. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, right? <laughs> totally works for me. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about our Black Friday, Black Saturday event before I get started working with Marabou and showing you some of the Hero Arts products that we have. Now, we do a Black Friday, Black Saturday event both online and in store. Are all the products exactly the same that you're going to find in store and online? No, they are not. There are things that we have online that are exclusively online that you will only be able to find and buy online. And then there are some things in the store that are only in the store that you can't get online. So we do that. That, that way the in-store peeps feel like they got something special and the online peeps you get something special and you know that we've saved all that inventory just for you. And that's really important to me. Also, we do a Black Friday, Black Saturday event. And what does that mean? Well, from the get-go, from the very beginning, I've worked retail my entire life. <laughs> Let's just face it, I've been in retail a really, really long time, and I have worked more Black Fridays than I care to mention, mainly because I'm old. <laughs> but there has always been times where I wanted that Black Friday doorbuster deal, and I couldn't get it because I had to work. And that's true of a lot of you out there. You have Black Friday that you have to work for. So in store, what we do, I can't do it online, it's impossible. But in store, what we do is we take a good portion of the, the products that we have and we put them out for Friday. But we hold back a portion of that product. And if it sells out, let's say we have this amazing, let's say we have one of the Marabou doorbuster deals and we put maybe 60% out on Friday and it sells out on Friday. Do we restock our store? No. We don't. You'll have to come back on Saturday because when we close Friday night, we set the store up brand new, like it was Black Friday all over again. And those people who had to work on Friday get to show up at our retail store Saturday morning and open the doors. And it's like, it's like everything is there for them. They didn't miss out on anything. I can't do it online because there's just too many different SKUs online. I want to say there's over 700 items on our Black Friday event. <laughs> can't do it online, but we try to make sure we have a large enough quantity of products to keep your heart happy. Does that mean I have thousands and thousands of doorbuster deals? No, it means I, I have a couple hundred of each doorbuster deal, and that's what a doorbuster deal is. It's Hopefully we have good enough quantity, you know, so that it's not the first 10 people, but, but that 
we can't, there's not a manufacturer who's going to have thousands and thousands and thousands for us. So that's why we try to give you a broad range of products during Black Friday, Black Saturday, especially online. So hopefully there's something there for 25 cents. Yes, 25 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, a dollar 25, two dollars. That makes your heart happy. In-store peeps, remember if we sell out on Friday, you would have to come back Saturday morning and the store will be completely reset. And that holds true for the make and takes. We have Hero Arts on Friday and Marabou on Friday and they are doing, each are doing their own make and take. We have two spaces in our retail store to host it. And then Saturday, they are back doing completely different make and takes. So if you're a local peep, you can come Friday and to do two different make and takes, one from Marabou and one from Hero Arts. And then you can come back Saturday and do two more make and takes, one from uh, Marabou and one from Hero Arts for a total of four. And they're all completely different. It's a wonderful event and we hope that you enjoy it. Remember, this is a ships when it ships sell and that doesn't mean it ships when you think it's going to ship. You want it for Christmas, so you want it to ship by Christmas. Ain't gonna happen, folks, it just isn't. This will ship next year. And if you are like, how can it ship next year? That's what it is. <laughs> when we have things out there for 25 cents and 50 cents and 75 cents, Take advantage of those sales, and when you get them, go wahoo, ka -choo. <laughs> But if you need this for Christmas, not the sale for you. Nope, go visit some of the under, uh, other wonderful online uh, uh, paper crafting stores and that are able to get it to you for Christmas. I don't think they're going to have quite the deals that we have for you and in the way we keep crafting affordable, but if you need something for Christmas, this is not the sale for you. If you are willing to wait until we can get it sometime next year, early next year, then we will have it out to you just as quickly as we possibly can. And you'll have some fabulous product at some amazing prices. So, no cancellations of, of, of Black Friday, Black Saturday orders, not in-store or online. Sorry, when you buy it, it's yours to keep. And you can choose the pay now or pay later. Uh, option it's really up to you whatever you want to do if you want to pay right now because you got the funds go for it or if you want to wait until early next year to pay when we send you an invoice go for it however you want to however you want to do that it's perfectly fine with us why because it's a ships when it ships sale and we understand so I've got a great YouTube for you today I'm gonna be playing with aqua inks from Marabou oh, they're beautiful highly pigmented, rich in color, easy to use, and unbelievably affordable. Not like a little affordable, like holy smokes artichokes, are you kidding me, affordable. So that's what we're going to play with today. I'm looking down at what I've got here, and I think I've got everything. So I'm going to tilt on, oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner, I heard you. You're like, wait a minute, hello. <laughs> We got winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about. Yes, you were right. I heard you. Hold on. Let me get my glasses on. My hair, it is so long, but that's the, that's the rule. So, Mr. SMS, I like his hair super short. He looks darling with his hair super short. He likes my hair really long. <laughs> so, we have agreed that if I keep my hair long, he will keep his hair short. But if I cut my hair, he grows his hair. So I'm getting used to having to keep it long, but I like his hair short. It's just, he looks darling. <laughs> okay, so it is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. By the time you're watching this, it's the day after, but I hope you had a wonderful day with your friends and your family. We have a very, very small family. So there's just a few of us for Thanksgiving, but it really doesn't matter the uh, the, the quantity, it, it matters the quality of people that you're with, and I am with some amazing people for my Thanksgiving. Wahoo! Okay, winner, winner, chicken dinners. Are we ready? This is from November 23rd, and Elena, <laughs> Elena has also put these, she's done them on the computer, God bless her pea picking heart. So, it was November 23rd was the YouTube, it was 320, and it was simply defined. Yes, that was me. Hello! <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, our first winner winner is Nina. Nina Bird, is that you? Hello, Nina. Are you going, ah! 
it's a good day to win, right? Well, I don't know any bad days to win, but... <laughs> day for you, huh, Nina? Congratulations. But I do have another person. I have two. We always pick two. Our second person is Karen. Karen Hart. Hello, Karen. Is that you? Awesome. What do we have to do now? You're a winner. Chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Wahoo. Cut you for you. Congratulations, girls. How do you claim your prize? Go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Go to the link that says winner, winner, chicken dinner. Send us an email like you're supposed to. Follow the directions and we'll get your prizes out to you just as quickly as possible. I anticipate having all 100 anniversary winners, all of their prizes out within the next two weeks. And by that time, we should be caught up on winner, winner, chicken dinner. So we'll do our best to get everybody their prizes before Christmas. That's the goal. But that 100 winner, winner, chicken dinner, 100 people from the anniversary sale. It takes some time to ship all of those because we have to do it when we're not shipping regular orders. So hang tight. I'm going to do my best to have all winners cleared out by Christmas so that you have a little, a little ho, ho, ho holiday magic from Scrapbooking Made Simple. Okay. Now, how do you get to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner? It's so easy. All you have to do is watch this YouTube, subscribe. You have to subscribe. I need subscribers. <sighs> Watch the YouTube, subscribe, and then you can leave a comment. It does not count when we're live chatting. That's not leaving your comment. You actually have to post a comment. But you can't leave a comment if you're not subscribed to our channel. Okay, I think I'm going to tilt on down and we're gonna get started for today. I'm going to start showing, I'm just gonna show you some of the things from Hero Arts that we're gonna have on sale. All Hero Arts is 25% off for Black Friday, Black Saturday. Hello, all hero arts. That's an amazing deal. But wait till you see, oh, <laughs> wait till you see the free make and take. Somebody said they can't hear it when somebody texts me. But, um, but I'm assuming that you can. I don't know, maybe you can't. But I can, oh. <laughs> but I can hear it go, bzz, it drives me crazy. Okay, let's tilt down, let's get started with hero arts. Let me move back to there and away we go. Down we go, bye. See everybody. Okay, down I go. And zoom in. Oh, it was a happy Thanksgiving message. That was nice, wasn't that nice? All right, so this is one of the make and takes that Hero Arts is doing with us in our retail store. I don't know if this one's Saturday, Friday or Saturday, but it's got the masking, it's got reactive inks, it's got cute little uh, epoxy dots, it's got the, um, the seahorse die. It's just darling. So this is one of the make and takes that they're doing. And then the second make and take they're doing is here. Hello, how beautiful is that? Again, the blending of the inks and the dyes and the stamp. So if you are local and you want to be able to do these, come Friday and Saturday because they're doing one on Friday and one on Saturday. And this is Hero Arts. Now Hero Arts, we've got the, well, let me pull it back over. We've got the die to go with it and the stamp set to go with it, and super cute die. Really great price, $9.99 less 25%. Hello, this happens to be one of my favorites and because it's right there, here and here, super cute. So these are the three items that you need to make this card. And this one is, oh my goodness gracious, even with glasses, I think it's DI, is it 641? I think it's DI 641 is this one. And then the poinsettia, which is DI 656, I think. And then the stamp set, which is CM 386 is my best guess. So those are the main elements to do this card here. Beautiful, and then of course there's inks and, and just beautiful reactive inks and 
Just pretty, pretty, pretty. Then we have this card here. And same thing. Here's the die. You get Mommy Seahorse and Baby Seahorse, $11.99, less 25%. Oh my goodness gracious, is it DI629? And then the stamp set to go with it, which is CL. Is it 954? It's really hard to see. They're very, very small. But then there's inks, and like I said, there's little epoxy pieces that, that go on that are just so cute. And they're shimmer and they're glimmer. So all Hero Arts on sale 25% off. And if you're local, come do either one of these make and takes. Or if you're really local, come do both of them, Friday and Saturday. I think you will have a great time. Then we have marabou in and this is one of the marabou make and takes Ooh, look at how that shines and shimmers right lovely shines and shimmers i wonder if i've got that so pretty and the second make and take is right here so they'll be doing one each day and both of these make and takes are using the aqua inks that we're going to use today, stencils that we have got at a unbelievable price. I mean, really unbelievable, like $116 for $26.99. Yes, crazy, right? So aqua inks and stencils and there's fashion sprays used. Now don't let the fashion spray name throw you off. It means that you can use them on fabric but you can also use them on everything else from ribbon to paper. Oh my gosh, beautiful. And that's where you get that shiny shimmery. Now these are the marabou make and take. So again, if you can come one or both days, you'll be able to make one or both of these. And they're flying in to be here, which is just wonderful. All right. So I'm going to put those to the side for right now. And I think I'm going to get started. Oh, I think we'll start with the aqua inks. Okay, this is aqua inks, and they have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. We have absolutely lovely colors, and they come in an I want it all bundle where you get 12, um, 12 aqua inks. They retail for $35.88 and we've got them for $18. Now I'm gonna be really honest with you. These aqua inks are gonna last you a long time. Like you won't be replacing them anytime soon. Why is that? They are so highly pigmented. It's part of the Marabou Graphics line. And this is a fine art product. This isn't, this isn't necessarily found in most crafting stores. A marabou is m considered more fine art than it is crafting and therefore their product is a better quality product for less money and I know you're saying how can that be Stacy that just sounds wrong it is it's just the weirdest thing ever if it doesn't have a scrapbooking name to it or a paper crafting name to it it seems you can get much better product sometimes for less money this is fine art product what does that mean to you? Wait, I'm gonna tilt up real quick. Does that mean you have to be, let me hold on. Does that mean, whoop, too high. <laughs> does that mean you have to be a fine artist to use this? No, wow, I'm really close. No, you don't have to be a fine artist. Fine art quality product is the, is the best product you can use. And generally, if you're not an expert, the better the quality you use, the easier it is for you to use it, the better results you get. So when you have an opportunity to use something that is a higher quality for less money, why wouldn't you? Fine art talks about, like I said, the quality of the product, not your talent. No, it has nothing to do with whether you're a, a fine artist or you're just starting. Fine art quality products mean that you get the benefit 
of the high pigments and the richness of the hues and the tones and the saturations so that when you use them, even though you're just starting out, you get a result that is better than expected because you're using product that's better than you thought. It's kind of like baking. If you were making chocolate chip cookies, wouldn't you want to use the best chocolate chips you could get? Because <laughs> they make your cookies taste better. Well, same here. If you're baking a cake and you're using vanilla extract, wouldn't you want to use good, yummy vanilla extract? Not because you're going to be a better baker for it. It's going to make your cake taste yummy. It's so wrong that I'm referring this to food. <laughs> year. So that is what Marabou is all about. Giving you quality product for a price that is totally affordable. And then we have them on a Black Friday deal, which is amazing. Totally amazing. So I'm going to start with these and I'm just going to play a little bit. I am going to be using some Strathmore watercolor paper to play and I don't know that I need such a big sheet but I kind of want to show you just how pigmented these are. How are they different than watercolor pencils? Watercolor pencils are never going to be as pigmented as this. They just aren't. This goes such a long way. So let me grab some paper towels just so I have handy. And I've got my little water over here. Okay. Don't know what color we're going to make. So here's color is this? I oh, don't know, it's one of my yellows. So I'm going to play with one of my yellows. And actually what's in the lid is almost enough for me to start. I've got my water right here. So just a little bit of water. Just a little bit. And I'm working with brand new tonic paint brushes. So I'm just going to dip in there and get, and you would say, well, that doesn't look like very much, Stacy. I know. But look at the color it gives you. I mean, it is rich. It is pigmented. It is bright. It is happy. Then if I want, I've got my brush right here. Take it right on in. And again, very, very pigmented. I can add some water and just make it move. Just make it move. Can you see why I say that the color is going to last you a very long time? Because it is so rich in color and the saturation is so wonderful. Now I can just move this around. I can pick it up and soften it out. The more water I add, the softer that color is going to become. So a little can go a very, very, very long way. And that's kind of nice when you're buying something. You want to know that it's going to last you. I used almost nothing. And then let's play with, I don't know, this color looks really pretty. Let's see what it looks like. Pretty. And I'm just going to pick up what's in that paint, what's in the lid. Oh. Now, how bright do I want it to be? I can go straight from the bottle and pick up just a little bit. And look at how rich that color is. Pick up from the bottle. little down here not too much add a little water if I need to move around a little bit 
I'm using watercolor paper so it can take the water without any problem. And so pretty. But I can go as deep and as dark as I want. because it's so highly pigmented. This deep, rich color can be a little challenging to do with watercolor pencils. You have to work it a little bit with watercolor pencils, meaning you've got to give it an opportunity to dry and then go back and add in and then dry and then go back and add in. You can do it, you just gotta work a little harder for it. And the tonic watercolor pencils that we have are beautiful pencils. And if I wanted to go back, I should put my lids on. If I wanted to go back and add a little more yellow, how intense do you want this to be? Your decision, how intense? How intense, and then just run them right into each other. So pretty. This is Aqua Inks, Graphics Aqua Inks by Marabou. Really pigmented. Meant to, you can take these and put them in a mini mister with water and make a spray out of them. You can sit there, I just made a very, very, very simple background. You don't even have to use a paintbrush. Let's forget about a paintbrush for a minute, shall we? Let's bring over here. You're like, I don't have paintbrushes. Okay. I'm not going to say you need a paintbrush. Makeup sponge. Hello, Walmart. Gotta love our Walmart. Or Rite Aid, or Sam's Club, or Costco. Ooh, I might have gotten too much water. Okay, no paintbrush required. Makeup sponge. Oh, but I don't want so much water. Yeah, I've got a lot of water on this guy. Let's take some of it off. And let's add just a little bit more color. Whoa. A little bit more color. So can you see how just a little bit of color can just, oh, look at how pretty that blue is. Oh my gosh. I love jewel tones. They make my heart happy. They're my color of choice. When doing something, I just love jewel tones. But what if we want to add another color? What do we want to add? without ruining it. Hmm. A little bit of green. You're all saying, hmm, I don't know, Stacy. Well, I don't either, so we're just gonna try. <laughs> What's the worst that happens? We don't like it. It's only paper. A little bit of green. A little bit of water. Let's get a little bit more green on here. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, now we're making a mermaid lagoon. We're making a mermaid lagoon. How pretty is that? And what if I happen to just take, just for the heck of it, hmm. Am I gonna destroy it by putting the pink?
What do we think? Kind of cool and kind of pretty, right? And it's all up to you how deep you want that color to be. How rich do you want that color? The more you add, and it's such a little amount, the more you add, the darker that color becomes because of the level of pigment in them. Yes, they're water-based. Yes, they clean up super easy. But yeah, they give you a really cool look. I want it really dark. See if I go a little bit in. So pretty. Love that blue. And now what you do with it from there is up to you. But they give you that depth of color that takes a little bit of time for a watercolor pencil to build to. A little bit of time for a watercolor pencil to build to. And you're not palette painting. And you see it wipes right off my craft mat. Boy, I should put these lids on, right? Is that what you're all telling me? Don't spill, Stacy. So they retail for, I think, $2.99 is the regular price. And we've got the 12 pack, which is... 35 38 but it's on sale for $18. So that's half price. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> Thanks, Marabou. Thank you, Marabou, Michael, and Mary for making that possible. Liquid watercolor, fine art medium. Beautiful. But what if we wanted to do something more than just make backgrounds? What if we wanted to play more with them? This is where their stencils come in. Now, we've got a humdinger of a price. I know they don't say humdinger anymore, but we've got a humdinger of a price on their stencils. And the stencils are A4 size, so they're big, which means you can do a layout with them, you can do a canvas with them, or you can take snippets of them and do your a card making with them or mixed media or altered art. They retail for $116.91. We've got, um, you get an, all nine stencils for $26.99. Hello. Now that's only if you buy the I Want It All bundle. If you buy them open stock, the price is a little bit more. So even if you split these up in between you and your friends, you each take one or you and your best buddy split them up and you take four and she takes five or you share them in a group for that price you cannot go wrong this is a great item but i'm going to play with it i'm going to play with it on watercolor paper again and i'm going to bring over my trusty dusty gel press because I'm just going to use this as my, nothing moves on it. We can also use Sizzix, um, their, their sheets. Oh, don't you dare start. Nope. Stop. Really? Okay. No, no, no. Okay. So Sizzix also has, oh, it's still going. No, no, no. Okay, let's try that. Stay with me. <laughs> Camera, don't leave me now. Don't fail me now. I want to go have turkey. <laughs> so Sizzix also has these fabulous sheets that are tacky on both sides that we also use for stenciling. I am completely out of them, but I do have my gel press and my gel press will hold things in place, which is kind of nice. Um, which stencil do I want to play with? Do I want to play with this one first? Oh, maybe I'll play with this one. So, one of the stencils from Marabou. And you're like, okay, first off, I don't stencil at all. That's not what I do. I'm not into it. It doesn't work for me. I'm like, okay, hang tight. Don't go anywhere. Let's figure this out. Let's see how to use a stencil maybe a little differently than you're accustomed to. A lot of times when you see a stencil, you see paints and you're 
blobbing and you're you're using that stencil with that paint to to put it in all the areas and you're making backgrounds I mean I guess a typical stencil would be if we did I don't know let's just put a little bit on most people would typically use a stencil let's get the little color in here Most people would typically use a stencil and then come in here, hold it down, and kind of blot away. And wherever that stencil is, that image is going to, the stencil is going to mask the ink. And that's what we normally use stencils for. We can use them with pastes to make texture, we can use them with ink, and the idea is that's what you're left with, which is lovely, and I'm doing it on a card size, so you can see that the stencils are beautiful on a card size, and I didn't have to get messy, and I didn't have to get dirty, and I just kind of put it on there. Is it this way? See if I can realign it back up. I just kind of put it on there. And held it in place. And played. And just got my ink all in there. And you can do that. I didn't line it up perfectly, but that's okay. You'll forgive me. I can throw a different color down. I'm not using a paintbrush. Again, just a very inexpensive makeup sponge from Walmart. Let's see if I can try and get it back online. There we go. And let's move that into this. So a typical use for a stencil. Those colors blended beautifully, right? Easy to do. So we've made a background using our aqua inks that you can die cut on, you can stamp on. What do you want to do with your backgrounds? And we've played with a basic stencil. And I could try and line it back up. And let's see that super pretty teal again. Love that teal. So line it back up. Ooh, dark, dark, dark. I think I'll bring my yellow back. And kind of soften that with some of my yellow. A little more yellow. Hello, yellow. Did I get some on there? Ooh. Oh, I sure did. And you can play it there's no right there's no wrong it just is what it is got a little wet but that's okay it just is what it is you just go and do and remember it's only paper but 
What if we wanted to do something different? What if you're like, okay, Stacy, that's still not me. I'm just not digging it. I'm not getting it. I love you, so I'm staying with you, even though this isn't this isn't my thing. Okay, let's do something else with the stencil. Let me wipe it down. And let's try again. So stencil, is, the inks are water soluble. So you can see my stencils wiping up, no problem. Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. But you're saying it's still not me. Well, okay, I hear you. Let's see if we can find something that does speak to you. So I love to color. I love, I love, I'm, I'm not the best colorer at all, trust me. But I do love to color. We'll dry it off a little bit. And let's grab my paper. And let's find a space on our stencil that we like because you've got such a big space. You can choose what you like. How about like that? Now, what if I took either a Sharpie marker or a pen? This happens to be, I think this is a zebra pen. Get it at Staples, they sell them in like 10 packs. You'd have to try the black pens that you have or the red or the gray or whatever you're gonna use. But what if I wanted to go in here and instead of stenciling, I just wanted to trace. All I'm gonna do is trace. And I'm not even worried if I'm not 100% perfect. I'm just tracing that flower right onto my paper. Do you have stencils? Have you ever thought about just taking a Sharpie or a Bic, a fine liner? What is it that works for you? And tracing. Now I suppose I could come over here and maybe with just a little yellow I can make my just put well I suppose I could go in there and just do my my leaves and all I'm doing is tracing. Okay, that's a start. So all I did was trace. Now I have the opportunity to do whatever I want because now I can paint. Why? Because that ink, oh, what if I did something in some, let's, well, I'll do that in a minute. Why? Because that ink does not move with water. Okay, Memento does not work on this. I am on watercolor paper. And if I use a Memento marker on watercolor paper, it's going to move a little bit. So I just went and got an inexpensive Sharpie or an uh, inexpensive black pen. And again, this one is a zebra and it just doesn't move. I know that some companies make beautiful fine liners and you can use those, but then I can dip literally dip and go in and paint. Maybe that's more to your liking versus leaving things up to random happiness. Maybe you'd prefer to go in there and just add your color. So you can see exactly what you're doing. Now I tend to be very A type. I admit it, I know it, I embrace it. I don't apologize for it anymore. I tend to be very A-type, so I do like to know exactly what I'm going to get when I'm going to get it. <laughs> 
I have a hard time kind of leaving things up to random. I've gotten better as I've gotten older, but I know that, that I do have a hard time. Now there's plenty of paint right here in my lid to dab in and go in in there and just paint. And they're so pigmented. that you can go in there and blend and blend and blend and blend. Now, you see me doing this a lot. That's me taking the paint and the water off my brush. Every time I'm doing this, I'm taking it off so my brush becomes drier, allowing me to make that beautiful blend that I'm looking for. If your paintbrush stays really wet, or has lots of color, you're not going to be able to make that blend. Do you see how I do that? How frequently? Let me see if I can tilt and get in just a little bit closer. And let me go a little bit down. And a little bit, whoop, wrong direction, a little bit closer. And I'll scooch just a little bit. So I've already added my yellow here. I'm going to go in and I'm with a little bit of water, I've got my water right here, little bit of water, I'm gonna pick up some of that red paint because I have got more than enough in this lid. I won't need any more than that to do anything that I wanna do on this card. Then I can go in and paint. And you see how vibrant that is, how red that is? but that's not the look I'm going for. I don't want that demarcation line. So I need to start taking that red off my paintbrush. And the easiest way to do that is to pull it straight off. I wanna blend in, maybe add just a little bit of water and start to blend it down. Can you see it starting to blend down? Now I'm gonna take a little bit more off and I'm gonna blend it more. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more off and I'm gonna blend it more until I have the look that I'm going for. If you're trying to blend but you never take any paint or water off your brush, you're never gonna get the blend you're looking for. Very hard to do. Now maybe I wanna add some more red back up into that top. Pick up a little bit of red, come back in, and same thing, I've put some red onto that top right here. I'm gonna take some of that red off and I'm gonna start smoothing it down and off and down. I don't want it to go too far because I wanted that red towards the top. So now I'm even more vibrant at the top than I was. If I wanna do it again, a little bit of paint right at the top right at the top. Then I'm gonna take the paint off my brush and I'm gonna start pulling that paint down. And then I'm gonna take it off my brush again and pull it down even a little bit further. To where I'm almost working with a dry brush. until I've got it where I want it. Do I want to add more yellow back in? Pick up some yellow. Pull it back up. What do you want it to look like? With the graphics, you've got lots of options. There's lots of things you can do. 
I could come in here. Let's clean my brush a little bit. And let's put a little bit of green down. Some light green and what was going to be my leaves. And then come back with a little bit of dark green. And because it's all water based, you're able to control what you do with it. So a little bit of dark green. And I mean a little bit of dark green. just to add a little bit of shadow to it. And again, because they're water-based, they're just going to blend right into each other. And I can take it off and move it around and take it off. And I am not, I am not a big, I'm, I'm not proficient at painting. I didn't go to school to paint. I have never, I didn't start doing any of this until I started crafting. And you just have to keep in your mind that it is only paper. Do you have to use watercolor paper? No, you can use 100 pound cardstock. The colors will move better on, on, on your watercolor paper. But if you wanna practice and play, Go right ahead using your 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 hundred pound cardstock. Absolutely, why not? I can come back here, and I could have done all of this. Oh, I got green on here still. I wonder if that's a little piece of green right there. Why? Yes, yes, it is. All right, let's just blot that up. Okay, so I had a little piece of green. It's right here, bluey green right there. I need to get rid of that. So what did I do? I'm getting it wet to get it out of there. And then I'm using a baby wipe and I'm picking it up. That way when I go back in with my yellow, I'm just going to kind of cover that up like it never really happened. And we're just going to move on. Let's kind of pretend it never really happened. And get all my yellow in there. Don't be afraid if your colors kind of get a little into each other. It's watercolor paint. They will be just fine. A little bit of red, a little bit of red. A little bit of water to make it move easier. And have at it. And then just start to blend and be taking your water and your paint off. Just start to blend a little bit of water, makes it move. And just start to blend. Until you have it the way you want it. You want a little more yellow? Throw a little more yellow in there. And you're, before you know it, you're watercoloring. And you used a stencil to make your pattern. You didn't sit there and dab all over and let me move back a little bit and 
I know some people are like, well, that's, you know, I don't necessarily love the grunge look. Well, that's okay. You don't have to do that. You don't. And then I can take this and where's my big fat one? I can take this and where's my yellow lid? It's right here. Put a little water in here. Pick that up. Put a little bit of a wash on here. Pick that up. And before you know it, you're done. And look at how uncareful I'm being. Maybe a little more water. And you just keep going until you're happy. Shucks, I could even take a paper towel if I wanted. Oh, I got into my red. Okay, did you see that? I went, I went like that. Oh no, what did I do? No problem. A little bit of water. Go in there and erase it. Move it around until it's gone. You can even go in there and add a little texture. Don't be afraid. Get out some watercolor paper and play. Get out some 100 pound cardstock and play. Don't be afraid. You can do this. And because the materials are inexpensive, you have the, you, you can afford to play. It's not like this is $5.99 a bottle where you're like going to be, oh, I don't want to use too much. It's expensive. I, I don't want to waste it. I don't want to, no, it's not that at all. It's $1.50 a bottle. You can do this and you just go in and play. What if I took... What if I took this one? What if I took this one, which is part of the, the packet, the, the I want it all bundle. We put some of these away and I brought it over here and I made on some of them, I did the small lines with my pen, my black pen. So on some of them, I did these lines. And on some of them, I did big fat lines. small ones what if I did that because I wanted to make a guy card and I just traced all of those lines in and then I came in and I painted them with the colors that made my heart happy. If I went in there. And then I just painted inside the lines with random colors. Guy cards are hard to do sometimes. You can't find a background that matches. Make your own. What if 
I came in here and I did that one and I did this little one and I did this one over here in that color and with the marabou or uh, the tonic I'm using the big uh, uh, pointed brush I could go I mean they've got them really thin I mean I could get in here and use that and get really close to the lines with a much finer uh, point and then maybe I like that really pretty soft green Have you thought about using stencils this way where you use it to draw, to put your pattern down and then take a medium to fill it in with? And with the Sharpie, same thing, it doesn't move with water. A Bic pen, a Sharpie pen, Staples has them, Sam's Club has them. And if I had done the whole background How cool, Ooh, too much. How cool would that have been? Oh, I don't know, maybe this one over here. And one more color. Should I go just totally crazy? I know, orange, who would think, right? And then when I'm all done painting, I need a color that, oh well. <laughs> decisions, decisions, see, I'm horrible with them. Horrible, horrible. But I can't not finish it because it'll drive me crazy. green well okay I'm just gonna call it done because otherwise I'll stay here forever so I could once I'm all done then take it and let's get this kind of wet and let's get in there and pick some of that blue up and then I could See, to me, this is good for a guy. <laughs> this makes, of course, if, because of the pattern and it's just easy to do and it didn't take much money, it didn't take much effort, it didn't take much time. The paints go a super long way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake that up. Go in there and get it kind of wet and then sp splatter a little more color oh yeah makes my heart happy so gosh then I could cut this out What if I didn't want to do the whole card? What if I just wanted to do an element? I could cut.
cut this out. And grab some paper and mat it. Grab some paper and mat it. And then I don't have any black paper, but I could mat it. And then put that on the card and your uh, piece of ribbon here and your sentiment there. And poof, I mean, you've got options. Tons and tons of options. Yes, stencils are, people think of stencils as one thing, but they are so much more than that. They give you so many opportunities to play. You can take your sprays and spray them. You can take your aqua inks and make spray out of them. Or if you love, 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 love shimmer, we have the Marabou Fashion Sprays, and they do. That's what they do. They shimmer. And you may not like spraying. That's okay. Paint with these, just like I've been doing. You want something with a little bit of shimmer to it? Not a problem. Shake it up really, really, really good. You want to see all that mica from the bottom gone. You need to make sure all that mica is gone. See, look at all of that mica. You can see the demarcation line right there in the bottle. You need to make sure it's all gone. You need to shake, 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 shake. And then, oh see, it's all starting to move because it's got to blend with that, um, with the liquid to make that. Hear the little ball? If you don't hear the ball, shake until you do. Oh, see, look at now I'm getting way better. And then you take the lid off. Put the lid to the side. Grab your paintbrush. And in you go. And instead of a basic paint, you're going to end up with a paint that shimmers. That shimmers like this. That's what fashion sprays do, but you don't have to just spray with them. And yes, they'll move with water. And yes, just know the more water you use, the more you dilute how pretty the shimmer is. And when it all dries, that shimmer just comes right up and it's like, it's not in your face. It's not like bling, it's shimmer. There's a difference. Shimmer, not bling, shimmer. So pretty. And again, we've got them on a super wonderful special. Of course, I just got it all over my, because <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> all right. Holy smoke. Oh yeah, well, no, that one's ruined. Okay. It's only paper. Move on, Stacy. You can do all of this. And Marabou's made it unbelievably affordable. They've given you the best quality you can get for a price that is not scary. It'll just come up. And yes, you can blend colors. And yes, you can mix this with your aqua inks. Sure you can. You can take them and mix them all together and do however you want. You can blend and you can have some of it shimmer and some of it non-shimmer. It's entirely up to you. But sure, they'll blend. The Marabou product is meant to work together across brands. They want you to get the value. Oh, that shimmer's really starting to come up beautiful. It's not bling, it's shimmer, but how pretty is that? Play, give yourself the opportunity. The Marabou Fashion Sprays, they retail, they're $7.99 a bottle. Okay, $7.99 a bottle. We're doing, um, they retail for $63.92. They're on a Black Friday for $23.92. That's a huge savings. That's a huge savings. Between the fashion sprays and the stencils and the aqua inks, you will give yourself so much um, creativity that you can you can layer and try different things and experiment 
and use them together, use them apart, and really um, dive into maybe some of the creativity you didn't know you liked or didn't know you could do. But if you never give yourself, oh, that is so pretty, if you never give yourself the opportunity to play, and sometimes giving yourself the opportunity to play is hard because not everything is affordable. This is the time to get some of these items because Marabou has made them affordable for us to offer them to you. They've kept that price, my goodness gracious, their price was already low enough to begin with, and now it's even lower. So, gosh, what did we do? I made a mess. Holy smokes, artichokes. We, we, we painted, and I don't even know where my painting one went, and... It's here somewhere and we made backgrounds. And I guess the most important thing is that you know that the aqua inks are a liquid watercolor and, and they're highly, highly pigmented. A little goes a very long way, as does the Fashion Shimmer Spray. They're highly pigmented. Remember with the Fashion Shimmer Spray, you've gotta make all of that mica from the bottom go away. It's all gotta go away. I prefer to paint with these than I do to actually sh -sh -sh -sh, and you should see this painted on chipboard. Holy smokes artichokes. I did a whole YouTube with this stuff painted on chipboard. Looks amazing. So between the aqua inks and the fashion sprays and the stencils, we just, we just had a good time and we didn't make anything, but sometimes that's the best time. That's the best time to, to, to play. Don't, don't, don't go in with any expectations. Just sit there and do. And then, then take a step back and figure out what you want to do with it. Do I want to use this and stamp on this now? Do I want to die cut from it? Maybe I want to, oh, maybe I want to die cut. Wouldn't my seahorse look good out of that? That Hero Art seahorse would look amazing out of this. You just never know what it's going to end up to be, but you have to start. And you have to give yourself the opportunity to, to see what, what it can do. See what the product can do and see what then you can do with it. Challenge yourself a little bit. Step out of your comfort zone. And at these prices, I think for $18, I absolutely think you can step out of your comfort zone a little bit. I think most of you, you're going to be able to find this as an affordable product. And even if you had to split it between friends, that's okay too. Boy, those colors look the same, but I'm looking at the lid. They're different. All right. So I'm going to, well, let me show you what we've got first. Like I said, we've got the aqua. Let me zoom back because I'm really close. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, we've got the fashion sprays. That's a pack of eight. It retails for $63.92. It's on sale for $23.92. All eight colors. Doorbuster deal. We have got the stencils. I just know I'm gonna, something's gonna spill. We've got the stencils. Look at the, the script. There's nine different stencils. They retail for $116. Your price is $26.99. That's the one we use today. Then we used, did I do this one? Then we used the yeah, one of the, the Aqua Inks, which are $35.88 regularly priced. Your price is $18, and it's a 12-pack. So these are the Marabou Doorbuster deals we have for Black Friday, Black Saturday. You pick the one you like, or all of them, whichever makes your heart happy. And then we have all Hero Arts 25% off, plus we have Stampendous and Dreamweaver. There's just so much more to go. And let me show you samples. So I showed you this one already. This is our make and take. I feel like I'm off just a little bit. Uh, okay. So here's our make and take. A little bit up. Yeah. One of the make and takes. And 
done with the stencil. Again, done with the stencil and then cut out to make the card. How cute is this? Done with the aqua inks, a stamp, stamped image, and then painted in with the aqua inks. And again, a stamped image painted in with the aqua inks. So it's part of the graphics line from Marabou. And look at how beautiful is this, a stamped image painted in with the aqua inks. A stamped image <laughs> painted in with the aqua inks. And here, Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. That just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Done with stenciling and aqua inks. Just beautiful. And I think Claire was playing with these. Now this is done with texture paste. Claire was just making fun little backgrounds and playing with them. Done with the stencil, aqua inks. I love this. Fave, fave, fave. Marabou did this one. But they didn't say who though. I would have absolutely called it out who did this. This is all done with the aqua inks. Is that beautiful? And look at how they just spritz. They just psh, psh, psh the aqua inks onto the little dresses. Even the back is done. Lots of water to get this effect. You added lots of water. How pretty is this? And they did this darling tag. Look at the coloring. It is vibrant. Hard to get with a watercolor pencil this vibrant. So pretty. And they did this one with the fashion sprays. Look at that with the fashion spray. See, shimmer, but not bling. Totally different. Can be absolutely used on a masculine card. And look at the cute tag they made. Just using aqua inks. And they colored the paper. They painted the paper to do these with the aqua inks. And then Claire was playing mixed media. She hasn't had a chance to finish, but I said, I have to show them this using the stencils. So there's the script stencil, there's the, uh, is that a quarter? It's not quite a quarter foil. Here's the stencil that I was using. Claire's doing this. She's got to finish it, but it looks amazing, right? All right, so I'm going to tilt up. And I'm going to scroll back because that's an awful lot of Stacy. And I'm going to say happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Oh my gosh. I hope that I brought you some things that maybe you hadn't seen before. I hope that I took a little bit of the scary out of playing with some of these products that maybe you've seen other people on YouTube use or you follow on blogs and you're like, can I do that? Can I really, really do that? You can. Believe in yourself. I believe in you. You can do this even if you have to step away and leave it overnight and then come back and look at it again. Because you might just find that 
you come back and you look at this one and you're like, hmm, that's not so bad. I've got, I now that it's all dry, I've got ideas of what I'm going to do. Or even this one that I smushed up because I got the pink on it. Find the freedom in crafting. And don't worry if you're not a fine artist. You make art. Everything you make is your art. And, and you should be proud and, and you should own that doesn't matter if you can't draw a stick figure. It's okay. Neither can I. But what I make is from my heart and therefore it is art. And just like the chocolate chip cookies, wouldn't you want to use the best chocolate chips you could get to make the best cookies you can get? When you start with a quality product, your finished results are always going to be better. And that is totally what Marabou stands for. So, Black Friday is going on right now. There is over 700 items, I think, in our Black Friday. <laughs> oh my gosh, how you're gonna decide. Things starting as low as like 25 cents, so, or 50 cents. Have yourself some fun, enjoy. Remember, you can pay now or you can pay later. What you can't do is say, where's my order? Nope, <laughs> you can't do that. It will not be by Christmas. It'll be sometime earlier next year. We'll let you know. But you can't call and say, I needed it for Christmas because it isn't going to happen. All right, where are you going to find all of this great product? You're going to find it at scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Scrapbookingmadesimple.com or come visit us in our retail sh uh, shop on Friday and Saturday and do the make and takes and you can take your goodies home right then and there. Remember, there are some things that are online only and some things that are in-store only. So if you're local, you get the benefit of both. But we absolutely put a whole bunch of stuff up online that you can only get online. So those of you who can't come to my shop, you're not forgotten. You're not left out. We wanted something just for you. So it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you next time. And I hope that you and your family and friends had a blessed and wonderful holiday. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye.